Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new tutorial from Connie's Arts. After the last one on fire, I thought I'll do one on smoke as well. But to be precise, smoke wisps. You might have heard the saying, there's no smoke without fire, right? Well, not in this case. I'm Seanak Patwar then, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create smoke wisps in After Effects with Trapcode Mirror, which is a third-party plugin from Red Giant. Let's start. Alright, once you're in After Effects, go to Composition, New Composition, uh, Full HD 1920 by 1080 at 30 FPS, and this is a 10 second duration composition, and let's rename this to Smoke Comp. Press OK. Uh, let's create a new solid. Press Ctrl or Command Y on your keyboard to create a new solid, and let's press OK. Now let's add the Trap Code Mirror effect. If you go to your effects, RG trap code and mirror. Now let's start changing some of these properties here. Go to the geometry tab and let's change the size of this. Uh, on the X value will be 2200. Uh, I'm making it slightly bigger than the composition area because I don't want the effect to cut from any of these borders inside of the composition. So the size Y, I'm going to change this to 1700 and we can see that uh, this does not have the resolution that we need. So we need to increase the vertices in the X and the Y axes. For the X axis, I'm going to change this to 500 and for the Y axis, I'm going to change this to 720. You can go for a higher number here, but it won't make much of a difference. And of course, your render time will be affected a little bit if you go for a higher number of the vertices. So that's just something to keep in mind. All right. Uh, for the tessellate, instead of triangles, I'm going to change this to quads. Now let's go for the fractal settings. The amplitude on this, I'm going to change this to 550. And the frequency, I'm going to change this to 120. Now we need to start animating uh, a couple of these properties, but before we do that, let's open up the shader tab first and change the blend mode. The additive mode is way too bright for this to look like smoke, so I'm going to change this to normal mode. And there you have it, smoke. And the normal effect, I'm going to change this to 100. Also, in the Material tab, let's change the color from white to uh, a bit of a gray color so it's not too bright and looks better. Somewhere around this is, uh, is a good sweet spot. Not too dark, but not white either. Press OK. And the follow for this is going to be smooth. Okay, now let's start animating some of these properties. Make sure that your uh, current time indicator is on the first frame. And uh, let's add a keyframe to evolution and offset Y. Press U on your keyboard to reveal the keyframe properties on your timeline. And uh, let's go to the 10 second and uh, change the evolution to 170. And uh, the offset Y, we actually need to uh, move the fractal field upwards. So this is going to be a negative value. And this value is going to be 1330. And now if we preview this, we already have smoke being generated from the bottom. Now a couple of things to keep in mind. First of all, uh, this is not a loop right now. Uh, for this to be a loop, the first and the last frame of this need to be the same, which is not the case right now. So if you go into the fractal settings, you'll see the seamless loop option here. Uh, basically, you just have to go to the end keyframe and hit the set end frame button here. So you have a perfect 10 second loop on this animation. Also, one more thing. If you don't want the smoke to be uh, to occupy the entire area of the frame, you can just uh, change the size X to maybe reduce it to a certain area. 
so that it doesn't uh, really occupy the entire frame and uh, so you now you have a, have the smoke in a smaller area and if you're gonna do that make sure to reduce the vertices on X as well because since uh, the area in which the vertices have, have been used is not as big as it should be you can make the uh, composition a little bit lighter all right guys that's it for now like and share the video subscribe to Kanye's arts follow me on other social media for exclusive stuff and updates links in the description of the video and if you have any doubts or suggestions regarding the tutorial you can post them in the comment section as well until the next time shanak over and out